Hey everybody, I want to take a second to show you another uh, innovation that we came up with recently. Um, from time to time, uh, you know, the, these cars that we build, um, the customers have certain suggestions, things they want, things they like. Um, they may have had experiences at the track that they uh, have encountered that have caused them problems, so they want um, certain items mounted in, a, in, in particular parts of the car. Um, I absolutely don't care. I want to make sure that the customer gets exactly what they want, so we'll do whatever they want as long as it's not a uh, safety concern or a performance issue. So um, in this particular case, uh, this car, the, the customer wanted the master cylinder mounted inside the driver's compartment. Our normal mounting would be outside in front of the firewall, right above the frame rail next to the engine. No problem, we can easily mount this inside the car, but one thing I hate is these, I hate these master cylinders mounted inside here because the reservoir is sticking up and you're trying, you, you have to climb in and out of these cars. Now you've got your fire suit on, so you're all stiffened up with that. You've got your head and neck restraint on, you got your helmet on, you can't move around very good. So you're getting in the car and you're stepping on or over the top of this and trying not to knock it off. It's just a pain in the ass where it's at. So to change that issue, we came up with a remote mount reservoir for the master cylinder. This is a standard, this is a lamb master cylinder. We like to use the lamb master cylinders because they're, they're, they're very nice and they, they work very well. But they have this, the plastic tank on them because it's basically a copy of a Chrysler master cylinder. But these are proportioned very well for these type of cars. So what we've done is we've, we've, um, we've came in and we wanted to move the reservoir somewhere else. So we've, we've machined this part that takes place of the reservoir and what this is, this is a billet aluminum piece that now snaps down into the top of the master cylinder. And we use the same grommets that the tank would attach with. So the stock grommets are in there and we just pop this in and then there's a lip so you, it doesn't come out. I mean, it's locked in there. And then we take these lines and we run them up over here to a remote mount reservoir on the firewall. So now what we've done is we've taken that plastic tank out of the floor and moved the holding reservoir for the brake fluid up here where it's easy to get to and it's out of the way and it's a perfect place for it. Now the driver can get in and out of the car. He can do whatever he wants. If he wants to step on this, he can, or if he accidentally steps on it, it's not gonna hurt anything. Um, it's easy to service too. So when you're bleeding the brakes, you're, um, you can add brake fluid right here. There's nothing to take off to check it. You can just twist the cap off check the fluid level, and the brakes bleed out, they work perfectly, everything is really nice. So this is a nice little option. Um, it, it is even, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be just for master cylinder inside the car because we're doing a couple uh, combinations now where we're mounting the master cylinder in uh, our normal location out in front of the firewall, but we're also gonna use this remote mount reservoir because it will then move the reservoir inside the car here where it's protected and where it's easy to service. So um, just a nice option to use the same master cylinder that we've been using, but, but move the reservoir out where it's more convenient and more protected and, and less of a, a harsh environment. It doesn't get oil on it or any kind of dust or dirt or anything like that. So very nice combination. It, ver it, it works exactly like if the tank were mounted on the um, master cylinder itself but um, it is, it's a very clean operation and it's very easy to use. So simple, simple to install and um, we have these available as a kit. So check it out and let us know what you think.